Hey, what's up guys? Grown Hobby coming back to you guys with another baseball break. It's an overdue one actually, uh, because this is going to be from the month of September, not October. But we got the Grand Slam Card Club. We're going to be doing the Premium All-Star Box here today. Uh, did not get to do that in the month of September due to the GTH Box Month. So we're a little behind there. Let's fill in the background cards though, very quickly. A couple of new ones to the channel here that I picked up in the last month or so. A couple of good ones I think for sure. First up, my uh, newest member of the 500 Home Run Club uh, this season here, Miggy. We got a uh, Miggy rookie card here from 2000 Tops Traded, PSA 10 on that. Throw that bad boy up right there. And then uh, one of my most recent pickups, if not my, well, actually, it's not my last pickup, but maybe two or three pickups ago. Uh, I've been wanting to get one of these. I've been wanting this in a PSA 10, but uh, I'll settle for this because of the price I got. It was insane. I've got a BGS 9, a Mint 9, Albert Pujols rookie from uh, 2001 Tops Traded. You can see the subgrades and stuff are there for yourself. But uh, I got an incredible price on this, so I had to I had to take it. I'm still probably looking to maybe get a PSA 10 on this, but uh, this was uh, – I got a heck of a deal. I just couldn't pass up. I mean, I got like less than 50% of what they're going for on eBay it was what I paid for that, so I had to take that when I could. All right, guys, awesome background cards. Let's see if that gives us a little bit of luck with the uh, the All-Star Premium Grand Slam Card Club box here for the month, uh, once again, of September this was, uh, even though this is October here when we're kind of previewing this video to everybody. Uh, it's good stuff. I've been doing this now for a year straight on the channel with the Grand Slam Card Club. I think I started it last September. It was when they came out. been with them kind of since day one. Uh, this box cost, this particular box is, uh, what, $135, I do believe. Uh, they have prices, though. You can get all kinds of different price levels with these boxes. You can start, I believe, all the way down to like $20 um, for a subscription box from them, which is great. And then they go all the way up to like $250 plus maybe dollars or something like that. So this one's kind of right in the mid to upper range and stuff. Uh, I think you get 10 to 15 packs guaranteed in here. Normally they include a hit as well. I'm going to pull these out. But uh, I also have a promo code you guys can still use still active i'm pretty sure it is g-r-o-w-i-n and the number one so grow in one that will get you a five percent off of your first order if you guys want to give a try to the grand slam card club put that up here in the background that's always going to be in the description of the video as well i will put that uh, discount code as well as links to the grand slam card club if you guys want to check it out for yourself i've had a lot of luck with this my luck has kind of died down the last couple months. I haven't gotten any mega hits or anything, but I mean, early on, I was getting some really, really big hits. But uh, really good pack selection normally. And I'm not going to hold the hit for the end. I can feel it down here. I don't make you guys wait. I'm going to just show you. Oh, that's, that's actually pretty cool. It's not a huge player, but um, I'll show you that card. That's a cool card. Uh, Leaf Trinity 2017 Clear. Christopher Sice. Nice on card autograph right there on that clear acetate card. That's actually a really cool card. I mean, like I said, I know it's not the biggest player, but that is a pretty cool looking card. So we'll take that nice little bonus hit. And then we got a total of looks like five, nine, 14 packs. So let's show you the packs quickly. We'll lay them out and then we'll get bust in here. So a uh, hobby pack. I'm going to let you guys know hobby or not, uh, if I can tell at least for each pack, because I know a lot of you guys are interested if it's retail or hobby and stuff. Uh, so you know what you're getting into when you buy this. So we got 2021 Tops Chrome. That is going to be a hobby pack. We got Bowman 2021 hobby. Gypsy Queen from 21, also hobby. Series 2 hobby pack. 2003 Series 2 hobby pack. That's a throwback there. 2020 Tops uh, Stadium Club Chrome hobby pack. That's a nice pack. 2019 Update. That's also hobby. Everything's hobby so far. 2020 Update hobby. 2020 Archives hobby. This is a very nice one right here. 2021 Finest, obviously a hobby pack there. 2020 Bowman Hobby, another good one. 2008 Series 2, that is a hobby. If you can't see that little H up there. 2015 Bowman Hobby. And last but not least, 2008 First Edition Update from Upper Deck. And that's got to be a hobby pack, I'm sure. Everything else has been hobby. So a pretty decent wide range of pack selections, I would say. I'm not even going to... I don't even know how I want to lay these out. I mean, we've got some really, really good packs here. That I'm definitely uh, a little bit excited about to check out. Um, yeah, I don't even know. I don't even know the semblance order I'm going to do. I think I'm going to go old school first for a change. I normally go reverse chronological order, but I think today I'm going to do uh, 
sort of a chronological order type of thing here and do the old school, these three packs first from the 2000s. So let's do 2003 Series 2. So again, everything is a hobby pack here. Not going to lie, off the top of my head, I have no idea who is going to be fond in Series 2 here for the, you know, the big rookie or anything like that. But uh, Jeff Bagwell starts us off. Carlos Pena, Brad Osmus, Carlos Lee, Antonio Osuna. And we got a gold glove for A-Rod. That's nice. Award winner. Sporting News, Barry Bonds. That's nice. All-Star. Milton Bradley. Thomas Perez and Chris Woodward. Milton Bradley. I remember anytime I heard his name, all I could think of was like, uh, you know, like a board game like Monopoly or something like that made by uh, Milton Bradley. All right, 2008 Series 2. Uh, just this hobby edition. I thought it said something else at the top there in addition. Let's see what this brings us. Cool design. This is one of my favorite designs. I think they did this in 2004 as well with like football or something, but. Uh, all right, so Pat Neshek starts us off. Miguel Batista, Cliff Floyd, Cecil Cooper, manager card. Rico Washington, rookie card. Andy Chavez, Claude Meredith. Uh, one of those kind of inserts there featuring David Wright. This is a ballot, I guess, to cast for rookie of the year. All-star rookie. Yeah, it's just an advertisement. I thought maybe it was something, but it's not. Casio Matsui. Raul Banez and Yadi Molina. That's a nice one. Yadi Molina, early on in his career. You guys can see the stats at that point in his career. But a uh, pretty early card of Yadi. I don't, don't think I have that one in the PC yet. All right, 2008 first edition update from Upper Deck. One StarQuest foil card in every pack. Uh, I've definitely never opened any of this, ever. Not even one loose pack, so this will be a new one for me. See what we can find in here. So Orlando Cabrera starts us off. Uh, Brad Penny, John Smoltz, Kurt Schilling, Eric Chavez, Scott Casimir, Milton Bradley again. Lots of Milton Bradley cards. Uh, Chen Min Wang, Andy Chavez, and the Star Quest card is Big Poppy, David Ortiz. Looking card right there. I don't assume any numbering. No, no numbering, but uh, still nonetheless, a nice little big poppy there. A little bit of reflective green action there. Uh, where to go next? I mean, these are all pretty decent packs that, that we're left with. I think I'm going to save finest for the end for sure, but other than that, it's going to be a free for all. Why don't we do, you know what? I'll even keep the Bowman together. So we'll keep the Bowman together. Let's do some of the flagship stuff. How about an update first? That's kind of the lower one of the, all these here. 2020 update. Pretty much driven by Randy Arizarena. Everybody else is not really, you know, desirable at this point. Raldis Chapman, Derek Holland, Rizzo, Tim LaCastro, Gavin Lux, rookie debut card. Uh, Dario Agrizal, rookie. Nick Turley, rookie. Looks like we've got a rainbow foil or a gold foil, one of those two. Cuthbert and, hey, Lane Thomas, that's pretty cool. That'll be a second-year card there for Lane. It looks like, is that cool? I think that's just rainbow foil, but uh, still a pretty cool card. Logan Forsyth, Thomas Nido, Tommy Pham, and Miggy. All right, let's do, let's do series two. Looking for another Cabrian Hayes. That would be a good one. Maybe a Jake Cronenworth. All right, so Shane McClanahan, rookie. Hassan Kim, rookie. John Ramirez, rookie. Lots of rookies. Luis Diaz, that's a good one. Uh, Jonathan Aruz. Jonathan Scope. Roddy Telez. Ryan Presley. Dyson Price. Another flip. Starlin Castro. George Springer. Patances. And Corey Dickerson. So nothing crazy there. Uh, what's our other one? 2019. I think that's our final flagship, right? Yep. 2019 update. Card number one, I believe, is uh, the Vladdy rookie card in here. You can also find his rookie uh, no-numbered kind of SP card in uh, 19 Series 2, but you can find his regular kind of rookie here. As well as, you know, a Tatis or an Alonzo or Jimenez rookie debut. Uh, would be nice to pull that in here. Brian Reynolds rookie. That was really good at the time. It's kind of fallen off a little bit. Freddie Galvis. Uh, Alex Jackson rookie. Warriors. The Beebs, 
all-star card. Uh, Darwin's and Hernandez, rookie card. It's 150th. And I see a home run derby with the ends and ets. I'm going to say this is my boy, the polar bear. And it is indeed. So the home run derby rookie card of my boy, the polar bear. Dwight Smith. Brandon Woodruff. Yasmani Grandel. Whit Merrifield. Hey, there we go. That's a nice way to end the pack. There we go. That's what I'm talking about. That's a nice one there for sure. Fernando Tatis Jr. Rookie debut rookie card. Beautiful card right there. Definitely a very desirable card. Only worth about half the value of his flagship one, but it's still a valuable card nonetheless. That is a good one for sure. We'll set that aside to get that sleeve and top loaded. Um, why don't we do... How about Topps Chrome? Why not? It's flagship but with a chrome finish. So 2021, only four cards in here, but it is a hobby pack. Maybe we can get some luck. Maybe. You never know. Uh, actually, this is 2020. I don't know why I keep calling it 2021. It's 2020. Uh, all right, let's pull that out. And we start with a Robel Garcia rookie. I'm trying to keep that glaring on for everybody. Pablo Lopez. We got a refractor. William Hendricks. And our final card. Got a little excited there seeing some Chicago White Sox stuff, but it's Tim Anderson. I was hoping it was the Luis Robert, but uh, not too bad. Not too bad. Let's do our other Chrome pack. Other than Finest. Finest is going to have a Chrome finish, but let's do our Stadium Club Chrome. So we get lucky enough to pull a nice auto or a nice big rookie. All right. David Wright starts us off. Nick Solak rookie card. It's a pretty good one right there. Kenta Maeda. Ooh, Shohei Otani. That's, that's nice. I mean, it's just a refractor, probably just a normal refractor, but that is nice. Shohei Otani, you want to talk about a man on fire. We're going to set that aside to get sleeved up as well. That'll be a third-year card for Shohei. we got Danny Jansen. And last but not least, that's a nice rookie right there. Nico Horner rookie card on the end, so not a bad one there to end with. All right, let's do, I guess, Gypsy Queen. Why not? Gypsy Queen from 2021. Very hard to open packs if you haven't opened it yet from this year. 2020 and all the other years, not bad. 2021... I don't know what they did as their packing companies, but uh, it's a, a, an absolute nightmare trying to to open it sometimes. Let's get one of those nice on-card autographs, so that would be awesome. All right, Will Myers starts us off. Joey Votto. Corey Seager. Uh, Ryan Jeffers, rookie. George Springer. Wilson, or, yeah, Wilson Contreras. Yeah, right. <laughs> My gosh, William. I wanted to say William, and I kept calling him Wilson. Contreras, a rookie right there. Anderson Tejada, rookie. And Mr. Noah. So I don't think there's anything. I'll do a quick back check with everybody to see if there's any crazy things that anybody might notice. I know it's fast, but Gypsy Queen's really subtle with the variations they can put in there. Anything from, like, the missing nameplates to the, the jersey logo swaps and stuff like that. 2020 Archives. Let's get one of those fan favorites autographs. A Cornfield Auto or something like that. That would be really sick. Shogo Akiyama, rookie, starts us off in the 74 design. Dustin May, rookie, is a nice one in 74. Bob Feller, then we got the 2002 design with Kenley Jansen. Jose Arquiti. John Smoltz, one of those sports extra throwback cards there. Then our 55s, a Nolan Ryan and a Goose Gossage. So nothing really crazy doing that pack. Final four packs, uh, all Bowman, and then a uh, nice finest pack. Hopefully we get an auto on the end to end with. Let's do our 2015 pack, though, right off the bat. How many cards? Ten cards. Pretty decent amount of cards. Let's hope for an auto or a nice big first bonus. Some nice rookie. Uh, and, yeah, 15 is the god-awful year to read the names, as you can see. I can barely read them. Trust me, I'm sure you guys can't read them either. Chase Headley, though. Uh, my gosh. Kenny Vargas. Got a rookie of uh, Edwin Escobar, or Crumbs. Nate Smith, at least it's the first Bowman. Not the exact one that we're looking for. And our other Chrome right behind it. Gilbert Lara, at least it's the first. Back to paper, we got uh, Victor Reyes. My gosh, can't see these. Jorge Mateo. That's a nice one. Flashbacks. Bowman rookie flashbacks for Moise Salou. It's actually pretty cool. Not pulled one of those before. That's actually kind of neat. Not the 
biggest player, but that's a pretty cool card. I like that. And then we got a, oh my gosh, can you read it? Champ Stewart, I think. Can't read it for anything, I'll tell you. And then Jose Reyes. Yeah, I mean, it's a it's a cool set, but the reading the fonts is absolutely god-awful. All right, reverse chronological on this Bowman one here. Let's do 2021 first, then we'll do 2020. That's a nice one in the back, guys. You see who that is. It's a paper, but that's a good one. Spencer Torkelson. Very nice. All right. That is not going to be his first Bowman, though. Um, but it will be a prospect card. Nick Madrigal, rookie. Garrett Crochet. Polar Bear. Our Chrome's Talent Pipeline. Freus Nova. Probably the best one there. For the uh, Strohs. Aaron Sabato, first Bowman Chrome. Our other Chrome. Oh, yes. There we go. Very nice. No longer of the... Toronto Blue Jays, but that is a nice one there for sure. That is your big guy that you're looking for out of this product, at least as of today. Very nice. Other than Blaze. Taron Varver, Jose Salas, first bum, and then there's that Spencer Prospects card there. So another one to sleeve up and top load after the video. All right, two packs left. Let's get a nice hit. Got some nice base, but let's get a nice hit. Let's get an auto or something. All right, 2020. Jordan Alvarez, rookie card starts us. Gavin Lux, rookie. Some decent rookies here. Jordan Yamamoto. Luis Robert. It's interesting. It's his rookie year, but this was still a prospect card there. Nico Holsizer, first Bowman. We got an upside down Evan White. And our crumbs. So we got a chrome refractor behind this. Will Wilson. Is it a first? It's not, but hey, still. Josh Young. Out of 499 refractor. I'll take it. Cattell Marte and Sean Murphy rookie. So we'll set that aside. Also, all right, last pack, but in my opinion, I'm sure our best chance at getting a nice hit. 2021 finest. I can't remember if it's like four or five packs per little mini box, and one of those is gonna have an auto. Let's just hope. Only five cards in here. I think the fourth card is the auto spot, but we will see. All right, Marcus Simeon starts us off. Yachty Molina, we got a backwards card. That could be a really good sign. Um, I'll tell you what. Let's, let's see. I don't want to spoil it, so I'm going to go like this. Let me set that down. Show you guys the last two cards. Josh Donaldson, and then a nice Joey Votto on the end right there. All right, how are we going to do this? Let me get a... Looking for some card to use here as a decoy. I'll just use this Cattell Marte. All right, so I'm taking Cattell Marte, put him down here, flip it around like this. Ooh, we got some crazy colors. Okay, so it's upside down. Let's hope for an auto. Let's hope for a big card, low numbered card, something like. Ooh, it's a rookie for Washington. There's your numbering. Do you guys know who that is? 18 of 175 auto. No, no auto, but still a nice numbered rookie card of Luis Garcia. Very, very nice. That's a crazy looking card there. I will say that as well. I don't know if you can appreciate that through camera or not, but the heck of a lot of shimmer action going on here. I'm not sure the name of that parallel set as far as uh, that one with the numbering out of 175, but uh, Luis Garcia, rookie out of 175, not too bad. I mean, really quickly, guys, I'll show you the other couple cards I'm going to be sleeving up here. That Josh Young Refractor, numbered out of 499. The Austin Martin first Bowman, obviously. I like that Shohei Otani from Stadium Club Chrome. Refractor action. And then, of course, <coughs> excuse me, our Fernando Tatis Jr. rookie debut rookie card that we pulled out of 2019 update. So, once again, no monster hits, but um, still a fun break. This is a fun product. I like the variation that you get there. I think you do get a decent bang for your buck. Um, so I will probably continue on with this product still. We're a year in. I'm probably still going to stick with it for now and hopefully turn things around, get maybe one more big hit, you know, in the very near future here. But, uh, yeah, guys, please do me a favor. Like, subscribe, share. Click that bell notification button to be notified of future videos. Lots more of them coming to you guys. As always, in the description below, you guys can find my email address, mailing address, and Instagram handle, along with the links to the Grand Slam Card Club and that discount code. Other than that, have a great day, a great night wherever you all are at, and we will see you next time.